And now, my niggas. Oh, he can presentation. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another reaction video. Today, we'll be reacting to the problem with black YouTube. Um, created by, I hopefully I don't fuck up his name, Cameron. Cameron. Yeah, I had saw this video actually when this nigga, nigga had posted it originally 10 days ago. It, it started to make me think about the problem with black YouTube. So, I want to react to it and it, get y'all thoughts on this shit. So, let's get into the video first. On my friend to see how she reacts. She touched it. What the fuck? Here's a problem with YouTube. Specifically black YouTube. Black YouTube sucks. When it comes to black YouTube, I feel like there's two sides. There's one side with these amazing content creators like Corey F. Kenshin, Sleazy, AMP, RDC, and many others. And then you got this other side with these creators that don't care about their content at all. Facts. All they care about is the money that comes with YouTube. Facts. All their videos are just based around sexual things. Facts. One side is like that homemade burger that... See, the, see, the problem is like, that's, I'm, I'm going to try my best to stick with black YouTube instead of talking about YouTube as in general, the thing with black YouTube is, like he said, bro, you have all these great content creators like uh, Corey, Berlizzi, AMP, RDC, Dashy, anybody, like, like them niggas, and shit like that. But then, like, you have the other black YouTubers, like, um, who's a shitty one? King Cuz, a shitty one. And then all these prank videos, and then all all them all them niggas is ass because they don't they don't give a fuck about their content. The only thing they give a fuck about is views. Like let's keep it a being like that's what that's what niggas give a fuck about because then views relate to subscribers, and then subscribers relate to more watch times. And then once you get your subscribers up, and then your watch time shit up, then. then that's when the paycheck starts coming in. That's when the money starts coming in. So that's what niggas, that, them niggas only give a fuck about. They don't give a fuck about making their views happy. They just give a fuck about, hey, clickbaiting shit and getting views, nigga. Real shit. Hours to make. And the other side is like that $2 McDonald's burger. That Ugh, that shitty ass burger. Mix, but the next day you feel like absolute shit. It's kind of like yin and yang, you know? And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about that other side of black YouTube. The terrible side. Now, when it comes to the black community and content creation, I feel like every single idea can't just be a normal idea, you know? There always has to be some sort of sexual spin to it. You can't just do a normal truth or dare. It has to be a freaky truth or dare. People's go on a blind date. It has to be a freaky blind date. The other day, I lit... Hold on, before he talks about that. Yeah, and that's another thing. I don't understand why these niggas be making that shit sexual. Like, nigga, not everything gotta be about... Motherfucking sex. Yeah, I do make sexual jokes, but all my jokes are not fucking sexual jokes. I say 25% of my jokes are sexual. The other 25% is um, uh, racist jokes, and then the other 25% is jokes about the game that I'm playing, and the other 25% is about uh, me roasting. So everything is evenly. Not everything is just one specific thing, and it's just about that one specific thing. And the niggas that, that they do that shit, so they get young people's attention because they know young kids, they're going to click on that shit because young kids, they don't know any better one and they're going to be curious to shit like that. And then it's going to be a whole thing. I just find that shit weird. Like, that shit is just it's weird and lame. I haven't seen a video titled, I put my freaky ass parents on blind dates. Like, nigga, like, what is that, nigga? Content creation where we're putting our parents on blind dates and it has to be freaky? That is absolutely weird, being honest with you. Another trend that's pretty big in the black community are 20v1. Yeah. These videos hit the black community harder than crack in the 80s. I can't tell I don't know about all that. Black content creators I've seen milking the absolute life out of 20v1. Yeah. Now, if you don't know what a 20v1 is, well, it's basically like a speed dating. I feel like, I feel like the people who ruined the 20v1s, though, is uh, KSI's group. Them niggas, I don't know them niggas' name, but I feel like his group, they ruined that shit. Because, like, his group, like, they started doing that shit a lot. And like niggas saw that, they saw that shit as an opportunity. And then they did it, and then AMP did it. And as soon as like them, they niggas saw them niggas doing it, niggas took that shit off and ran with it. Like, like bro, like this shit is football, and they just abused that shit. Show where twenty people speed date one. This is ugly ass. At the end of the show, that one person. Hey yo, let me get that Kobe cutout, nigga. People. I'm pretty sure this video idea was like created by Jubilee, popularized by the sidemen. See, yeah. 
Simon, that's that's what they call. There are some genuinely funny 20v1s out there, but then you got channels out here who are posting 20v1s every single week. For example, No Love Mar. I don't know that nigga. No Love Mar is well, he's a pretty big black YouTuber who has 1.44 million subscribers. Take that shirt off. That shit is lame. Channel. Basically, all of his videos are 20v1. You see, like this is the shit I'm talking about. Like they get random. Oh no, let's go back to that shit. Oh shit! Well, never mind. Like they put random ass niggas on these twenty on these twenty v ones, like, and bro, uh, that shit is corny. I love. I wouldn't be surprised if this man did a twenty v one with the whole entire United States for his next. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, this man should put me in a twenty v one. Find some action. Look at your eyebrows. What's crazy is that this man is so obsessed with twenty v ones that he literally jumped another YouTuber because they made a twenty v one with Krishan Walk. Oh. That idea first. I mean, there's literally entire videos of him and his crew just pulling up to their studio, them beating up the other guys, and them taking the camera and the footage so it doesn't get uploaded to YouTube. Number one, what happened to Shane? Who genuinely wants? Number one, nigga, that shit is not that deep. That's one. Like, bro, y'all niggas out here trying pulling up on niggas over content, over motherfucking content. Shit is toxic. Let's be honest, nigga. Shit, a nigga moment. Stay woke. Hell. That woman is literally the Hell. Bro, Christian looks like a fucking pig. Dumping other YouTubers because they're about to upload an idea before you. Just be more creative and make something other than 20v1s. And maybe you wouldn't have to resort to jumping people because they make the same style of content as you. Imagine Facts. if Moist Critical got to a top. Shut up, Moist. And I fought him because of that. Isn't that the stupidest thing ever? Like, it just doesn't make sense at all. And what's even worse is that before every 20v1 that this man does, he promotes this scam where apparently you're supposed to get $750. And for niggas who, uh, niggas who fall for this scam are fucking buffoons. One, the people who fall for the scams are fucking kids. And then they, they see, oh, free $750. Nigga, you're not seeing that shit ever in your life. And then two, uh, if, if you fall for that shit, you don't have any fucking brain cells. Nigga, don't, nigga, don't get scammed, nigga. Don't get tricked. Clicking the link in the description, but you don't. It just takes you to one of those sites where they have you fill out all of those tedious surveys and you get nothing from them. I mean, there's literally entire videos on Fuck cash app. Scam. He gets the money because he gets paid from people clicking the link. But you as the viewer, you get nothing because, I mean, why would cash app just give you 700 Exactly. They would be broke if they Fuck cash app. That. It just shows how greedy of a YouTuber this man is. But I'm pretty sure that was already pretty evident. You also have this other YouTuber right here named Real X Dawn and basically a bunch of close your mouth. 20v1. I mean, nothing really else. And also, he spams that link in the description. That seven. Why do niggas, bro? I was about to say, why do niggas do that? It's obviously, niggas do that to get fucking money from people who fall for that shit. And what's also crazy about these 20v1 YouTubers is that there's literally no originality in any of them. The only difference is the people in the 20v1s. The intros are all the same. The editing is all the same. Hell, even the freaking personalities of all these YouTubers are all the same. Even the freaking scam in the video. They're all doing the same <laughs> $50 cash app scam. Even the scam in the video is the exact same. Hey, these dudes are literally it's li nigga, it's literally same content. Different fucking people. And when I mean different people, they have the same personalities. It's just different appearances and different faces and shit like that. Laboratory, bro. Like they're just printed every single I'm like a buzz. Week, I see a new one YouTuber. What's also crazy is that these dudes will have young people. Oh. Which is very sad. You guys don't know there's See, like I said, young people fall for that shit. Who is that nigga? And the YouTuber No Love Mar, he made a video with the title. I will snatch that fucking chain. It's disgusting, if I'm being honest with you. Wait, how? Hey, ain't these bitches supposed to be going to jail? This nigga is seventeen. Be grown. Be grown. There's a bunch of grown women in there asking a seventeen-year-old if he's husband material. Exactly. Which, that's completely wild to me. I mean, the man send these bitches to jail. He's not even past. With R. Kelly. What do you mean? Psych, free my nigga R. Kelly. And you can't say 17 is close to 18, but at the end of the day, if you sleep with a 17 year old, that is illegal. But Josh Giddy. Here is that there's 20 v ones with Lil RT. Uh. Don't know. Lil RT is a nine year old rapper, but he's not like the main. Uh, I'm not trying to sound like a hit. It's a little RT, but the thing is with little RT, he's one of them young influencers, just like Lil Moses. Or whatever that bitch's name is, and all them other little influences, like bro, they pop up for a quick second, and then they're gonna fall off. Eventually, Lil RT is gonna fall off. Nigga had one song that blew up. 
he is going to fall off. It is inevitable that he won't fall off. Let's be honest. I, I'm not praying for his downfall, but I'm speaking facts, nigga. It's, it's going to happen. It will happen. Character in these 20v1s, he's like that little assist character that you have in freaking Mortal Kombat when you spam L1. I mean, as you can see right here, there's literally a video called I don't play MK like that. From the help of Lil RT. Why do you need a nine-year-old to help you find love? Weird. Also got the YouTuber King Sid, who's also been doing many Weirdo. videos Lil RT. And he's not doing them in, like, the right way. He's just basically promoting this kid's bad behavior. I mean, he literally did a video named Lil RT Swipes 20 Guys for His Mom. And in the whole video, this man is literally just cursing and everything right in front of his mom. Cringe. Crazy. L mom. Curse in front of my mom. I wouldn't be here making this video today. Facts. Real with you. But yeah, I just find that my mom is getting in the fucking tree and hitting me with that shit. The whole idea of the video is to sexualize a young person. I, I, I mean, it's pretty crazy. Another style of content that's pretty big in the chat community is face to face smash your passes, which these videos are cringe. Bro, them videos are so cringe, bro. Them smash or pass videos are so fucking cringe. It's because, bruh, they do that shit face to face and then they try to get all sexual when that shit is, nigga, that shit is weird. Like, niggas getting boners next to other niggas. That shit is weird. And then, niggas, and then, my fault. And then, uh, yeah, bruh, that shit is just weird, bruh. That shit is weird and cringe, and young people be falling for this shit. One by one, they basically go through the cringe and say smash or pass to the person they're standing right in front of. Why is her nose big? When you really think about it, if I had to sit here and watch this for 30 minutes, I'm not gonna lie, I probably wouldn't even make it through. I would lose freaking all my brain cells by the fifth minute of this video. But yeah, that's another style of content with black YouTube that's pretty stupid, in my opinion. And prank actually, videos are another one, too. Just for them to participate in a face to face smash or pass. Why like that bitch said, doing the splits? A lot of black YouTube, their content just revolves around just extremely horny content. Public interviews. I mean, you know the whole gay son or thought daughter. Thought daughter, daughter my answer. Match, which is just basically they get a room full of people and they just try to. Depending on how gay my son is. Overall, my problem with Black YouTube is that number one, it's just unoriginal. Everybody's just copying off each other, yeah. and expecting to become the biggest Black YouTuber of all time. Like Kai so and all the mother niggas. And number two, all these videos are just based around these sexual concepts for kids to click on them, and then once these kids click on them, they're just going to freaking promote these little scams and stuff like the seven hundred. $50 cash app scam just so they can get paid overall black youtube is just down atrocious right now and it's honestly sad to see bro but yeah this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made this yeah bro i agree with him like i feel like he should have added pranks in there i feel like pranks are another thing with black youtube like i'd be seeing like black youtubers doing pranks and shit like that and like that should be getting out of control but yeah bro them smash or pass videos them public interview videos I'm adding in pranks and what else does this nigga say? Blind dates, 20 v ones. What else can I think of? That's all I could think of for right now. It's not really game. I mean, I really can't add in gaming because gaming is all around. I can't say with black YouTube gaming. I can't say that. But those top five that I touched on, yeah, black. When that comes with black YouTube, black YouTube is fucking up. Black because niggas just want to blow up. They see niggas like. Kai, they see niggas like Kai, Duke. I'm not, I'm not putting none, none to blame on them. I'm, I'm not putting no blame on them. But they see niggas like Kai, Duke, fucking Berlizzi, RDC, all these niggas like in the spotlight that they're in, the fame that they have, the riches that they have, and all this shit, the lifestyle that they live because of the content that they make. And they see that they're like, hey, I want to get like that. So the quickest way for me to get like that. It's to sexualize everything and just, they prefer quality, I mean not quality, they prefer quantity, just post videos, post videos, post videos, post videos, instead of, the, instead of the quality. So they just post a thousand videos and there's just a thousand shitty videos. Yeah, that's what I got to say. But anyway, alright y'all, once again, this is The Problem with Black YouTube. Uh, created by Cameron. Original video be link in the description. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Share y'all thoughts in the comments. Yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Do all those good things. Yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Grandson out.